I was really delighted to receive the Royal Society of Chemistry, Chemistry World Entrepreneur Award. Um, I, I accept it on behalf of the whole team because drug discovery is very much a team effort requiring chemists and biologists and clinicians, geneticists and a wide range of expertise. The award was for a successful uh, partnering of our projects with biotech companies and also with Big Pharma. My lab uh, is the largest academic cancer drug discovery group in the world. It's 160 people. It's very unusual in being an academic drug discovery group rather than industry. And what we specialize in is targeted therapy. So the idea is that in cancer, genes are causing cancer by having damage to the DNA, mutations in the DNA, and they cause abnormalities in the cell that make it into a cancer cell. The approach that we take now is a really interesting one. The genetic scientists in our institute will first of all discover a gene, a new cancer gene, that is involved in causing a particular type of cancer. And then the next part is to understand what that gene does. How does it deregulate the biochemical pathways in the cell? And once we understand that, we can think about designing a drug, either on the cancer gene itself or the protein that it encodes, or somewhere else in the pathway that's druggable. And so we will then come in and use all the technologies of high throughput screening or fragment screening, um, structure-based design, medicinal chemistry, all of those technologies that we brought in from industry are running in our academic center. And we've been very successful over the last seven years. We've discovered 16 drug candidates, new drug candidates that are moving into the clinic. In fact, in the last two years, six of our drugs have entered phase one clinical trials. And I guess most famously, our drug abiraterone last year was approved for the treatment of patients with prostate cancer. So that's been an exciting development that we've just had. What's become necessary for groups like ours is to go beyond the gene discovery and beyond understanding what the pathway and the biology of the genes of cancer um, are deregulated and how that works, go beyond that and take it into the early stages of drug discovery that in the past has been regarded as the job of industry. We can go from the cancer gene through to an early prototype drug in, say, a year or 18 months and get to proof of concept molecule that will kill a cancer cell, show the biomarker changes. And we can do that on our academic funding from Cancer Research UK and from our institute. And that's the point at which the project is then de-risked enough that we'll often have a, a commercial partner wanting to come in and work alongside us. And we think that's a good thing. That brings extra funding. You've got two groups of people working on the project. And then we would take it all the way through to the drug candidate. And the pharma company would then, of course, have the uh, resources to take the drug beyond phase one clinical trial and into the big randomized trials that you need to get the drug approved. And working together in a sort of public-private partnership, you know, we think this is the way to really change the face of cancer drug discovery and cancer medicine in the future.